Good morning, guys. I know. How do you like that pandemic hair? I really need to stop calling it pandemic hair because you know what? I work at home. <laughs> Been at home for like 20 years. I guess I'm just being lazy right now. If everybody else doesn't have to comb their hair, you know what? I don't either. So it feels good to kind of be free, let my hair just be all over the place. But, uh, huh. It's been some busy days. I know most people have been getting rest, but I haven't. Still been doing new beds, putting in new flowers, maintaining what I have already. As you guys should know by now, my turtles had 13 babies and then she had the nerve to lay again. Yes, I'm gonna have more babies in a little while. So I've been finding homes for all of them and I have been putting in a new vegetable garden. So hopefully, do you guys see that? Yeah, I've been building beds. So hopefully by this summer, I will have my own little farmer's market right here in my backyard. So I do have another pallet over there against the wall that I gotta break down today. This is all free wood. It was all free and uh, reclaimed wood. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I don't wanna have to be going to Lowe's and Home Depot and, um, you know, out here, we've got a lot of long lines and people aren't wearing masks the way that they should. They're not doing the uh, social distancing. You know, you can get in line and somebody will really like walk right up on you to where you have to turn around and ask them to step back. Um, me, because like I said, I punctured my left lung before. I know what it feels like to not be able to breathe and there's no medication that can just fix that. So you know what, I'm not playing around with this uh, virus not being able to breathe hurts and it's scary. So I'm trying to do everything that I can to stay home, to not have to leave my house, hence my vegetable garden. And um, you know, I got fruit trees now, I'm gonna put those in and it's a lot of work guys. It really is, but you know what? It's worth it to be able to feed your family off of your own land, you know, to be able to just come out your back door and go into your garden and you know pick a salad or you know pick some fruit and you know it's going to be worth it especially like i said if it keeps me from having to leave my home to leave my property to go out there and endanger myself and my family members then you know what it is all worth it and i'm willing to do the work so right now i gotta go cut the grass i gotta bust up that pallet over there build another bed and uh, I'll probably end up having to buy wood to do the rest of them because I'm putting in the uh, watermelons and the honeydew melon, uh, the cucumbers, and uh, yeah, they're all gonna need trellises to grow on because I'm kinda out of space over here. So I'll show you guys what I've been up to. You. And uh, if you guys like, subscribe, share, help us out. <laughs> you guys have a blessed one. Sorry about this, but I gotta walk into the sunlight right now. But I have been putting in vegetable beds from old, used, reclaimed wood, old pallets. And I got three beds already. And I got a couple more to put in. Got to move this compost pile here. And I'm going to go all the way down that. But I've already started with uh, potatoes here in this bucket. I'm getting ready to put some strawberry plants and potatoes, I mean, uh, tomatoes right here. I've got radishes, green onions, basil, carrots. I've got two of the peppers here. I also put two different types of kale in there, one an heirloom. Over here, I've got the green beans, the bush green beans and spinach. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, one of them is sprouting up and I think there's another one over there. So I'm pretty excited. It's been a while since I've had a vegetable garden. In fact, my vegetable garden used to be where my succulent garden is now. But um, I'm actually looking forward to this. It's gonna be nice to be able to just come outside and um, pick whatever I want to eat because I'm only growing the things that I want to eat. You guys see in the last video, you know, I picked up fruit trees, trees I've been looking for for a while. I'm still missing two, but hopefully I will find those pretty soon. And uh, I'm actually thinking I'm going to leave them in containers for a while. I'm going to buy some larger containers for them. Look at these peppers. 
I do have some seeds over there that I'm germinating, but you know, since the temperature has been so high lately, I don't even know if um, I'll be able to use those this year. So I went out and I bought these. As you can see, they got little blooms and stuff on them already. The basil I have over here is also popping up. A sweet mint over here. I'm going to keep it in this pot because I don't want it spreading everywhere. And the three strawberry plants that I picked up on clearance, they've actually got some new little sprouts down here on them. So I'm going to see if I can get something out of these. Even, you know, if not, I'm just going to see if I can uh, keep them alive until next year. I did pick up two tomato plants, and I've never grown tomatoes before. I also have a little honeydew melon. So I'm going to plant that along with the cucumbers and a watermelon, which I think it's funny. I mean, as a kid, we used to spit watermelon seeds all over the lawn, and my mom would have a heart attack because they'd be sprouting up everywhere. And now I'm kind of worried if I can actually grow watermelon. <laughs> so I think I told you guys that I've never grown tomatoes before. So I'm that person that gets amazed when I see things like this. This is a pineapple tomato. So I'm really curious as to what it's going to taste like and watching it grow, I think it's gonna be so exciting. The other one is a Biltmore tomato. Yeah. A built more tomato so I don't know what that one tastes like either but you know what it pretty much from its picture looks like an ordinary tomato maybe more along the size of no not even a beefsteak but, um, this is gonna be my little adventure bed I've never grown anything in here so I'm pretty excited about starting this look like little lanterns all right so I got my tomatoes my strawberries planted down here they're looking good this morning I soaked them really well I didn't know what I was gonna find this morning when I came out you know I got squirrels and stuff everywhere skunks come through here in the middle of the night so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to cover all this stuff They're looking good this morning. So I've got some hope. I might have some fruit this summer. Even the peppers are still looking good over there. So when I planted these strawberries, uh, they already had a couple of shoots coming off of them. But this one has actually rooted already. It's pretty cool. So it's going to give me another little plant right there. So far, so good. Still got all these little lantern looking uh, pieces down there. I don't know if that's the fruit or if, I, I don't know. I've never grown them before. So if you guys know, drop me a comment and let me know. But I'm definitely excited. What a difference a day makes. Are you looking at that? Look at that. <laughs> yes. Spinach is coming up. The green beans are popping up. Peppers are still holding strong. Look at that. Strawberries and tomatoes. The squirrels didn't tear anything up. The skunks didn't dig anything up. Good morning, guys. 
I know it's been a few days since I gave you an update, but I want to show you guys what I have been up to. I'm going to apologize right now because we are still on shelter in place orders and everyone is home. So all my neighbors are home, all the kids are home and uh, yeah, we're going to get some noise. <laughs> but you know, that's life with kids. So um, I want to show you guys what I've been up to, even though we've been in the 90s, I've still been getting these garden beds in, still been doing a little planting, don't know if everything will make it through our hot summers, but you know what, I have to try, and uh, it's a lot of work trying to keep everything watered and cool, but it will definitely be worth it in the end, especially if I can feed my family this summer from our own backyard. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys what I've been up to. So I've got most of my beds in. I do need a couple more down there. I'm gonna put in the pole beans and just a little bit of herbs and things here and there. I have bell peppers in this one. And as you can see, my green beans, my spinach, they are all coming in nicely. I have kale and bell peppers in here, and if you can see, I got a little kale popping up. There's a few of them coming up, and let me see if I can get under here without giving you guys my shadow. But let's see where. Oh, there you go. Oh, focus. There's a little bell pepper under there. Look at that. So, I don't know who's going to get to eat it, me or the uh, bugs, but hopefully I will get to it first. So, in these pots down here, I do have um, basil. As you can see, the basil is sprouting, but I don't know why these radishes aren't. This is my first time growing radishes in a container and uh, my radishes usually germinate for me within a couple days and these have been there over a week and they haven't come up so I think I'm going to end up sowing seeds into the ground and see what happens yeah tomatoes and strawberries are doing great and you can see that look at that little guy I'm happy about that. I finished this bed yesterday and I'm going to be putting cucumbers and melons in there. So I'm supposed to get up to about 93 I think today. So I'm going to try to get two more beds over there. And once again, I apologize for the noise, but you guys have a blessed one. So just know that, you know, this is a little bit of work, but it is all worth it. And man, the feeling you get when you see your stuff start to sprout, it's almost like having a baby without the pain. <laughs> you guys stay blessed.